Hello there guys, Matt here again and welcome back for another review. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new DC Collectibles Batman Arkham City Series 4 Deadshot. So yeah, so here's the figure in front of you looking very very awesome um, and these figures have just been released, or Series 4 has just been released and um, yeah, so I did pre-order Deadshot from Star Action Figures for about £19 including shipping, so that's pretty good. Um, there is a link down below in the description if you want to go purchase Deadshot. So anyway, let's get on with the review. Um, so yeah, so Deadshot does not come with any accessories whatsoever. Um, I mean, he doesn't include a base or a stand or anything, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, but he doesn't include any guns or anything, so but there you go. So so yeah, let's get a closer look at the figure. So here's the head sculpt of Deadshot. As you can see, it looks very, very cool. Um, at first, I wasn't too sure about the head sculpt, uh, but now I've got it, it does look very, very nice, actually. So here's the head sculpt, as you can see, very nicely painted. Uh, he's got a nice like glass eye here, like targeting system sort of thing. Uh, very nicely detailed, as you can see. His face is kind of like a very nice flesh sort of colour. Looks very realistic as well. Um, his beard as well, very nicely painted, and his eye there. And his whole hood sort of thing, like his mask sort of thing. Very nicely detailed, looks very, very accurate actually. So that's a good head sculpt there, I like that a lot. Down here you can see his like outfit. You've got the Arkham logo like with a target on it, like a yellow target sort of thing, that looks very nice. Um, up the top here does have like these sort of like ammo slots, look like where ammo would go, so that's very nice. Um, on, his, on his whole costume, he does have like, have this like uh, weathering look to it, like dirty look to it, like they put like a dirty effect to it, so that makes the whole costume look very, very nice. He does have his like holsters, um, but unfortunately he does not include like a pistol or anything, so there is no weapon in there so kind of unfortunate so here on his arm you can see he got the nice yellow stripe as well um, I mean he's kind of like customized his prison uniform because as you can tell this is like the Arkham City uniform or prison clothes and he sort of like changed it so you got the target on there and everything so he's kind of customized himself so that's pretty cool on his hand here you can see the guns uh, pretty nicely detailed uh, I mean it's just painted grey really uh, mine are kind of warped don't know if you can really see that but they're kind of like Warp. So I might have to put them some hot water there to make them kind of in place. But they they look pretty cool in his hand there as well. Uh, his hands are kind of, as you can see on this hand, is a fist. Um, and is looks pretty nice, like the paint job and the fist looks very, very cool as well. Um, on this hand though, it's an opening, opener hand. Uh, but the flesh colour on the hand is kind of light to his face. It's kind of lighter than his face. So I don't know if you can really see that with the harsh lighting here. But you can kind of see it looks kind of lighter than his actual face. Uh, but still really nicely done, as you can see the guns on that hand as well um, look very really cool as well. As you can see down here, his pants or trousers very nicely sculpted and very nicely detailed as well, so it's very cool. And obviously got his boots with the yellow straps on it as well, look, which look very cool. Um, so onto the back, you can see he's got his hood up the top here, which looks very nice as well, and got like some sort of harness sort of thing. I do have like kind of a paint problem on the back here, don't know if you can really see that. Uh, but there is kind of like bad paint in here, so don't know if you can really see that, but kind of a paint issue, but nothing major because you can't really see it because arm is most of the time in the way. But the paint job on the figure is really, real, really well done. Um, I was really surprised about the level of detail on this figure. I didn't think it would be that good, uh, but you know, it is really, really good paint job, and the sculpt work is very, very nice. So let's go over the articulation quickly on Deadshot. Um, the ball joint is on. No, the, his, his head is on a ball joint, it moves left and right, very good actually, nice range of motion there. Um, doesn't moves up a tiny bit, not really much at all, then down a little bit as well. He has ball joint and arms, they do come up, they do come up further than that, but mine are kind of stiff now. Uh, but at first you can go up quite high, so that's pretty good. Down, they do move down obviously as well, and they do also rotate as well. He does have a swivel at the top of the arm as well, single jointed um, swivel or hinge joint at the, at the elbow and a swivel at the forearm so you can sort of swivel that there as well so that's pretty cool. No ab crutch or hip or hip twist or anything so you can't move the torso area. He does have a swivel, um, hip swivel so you can move that up there like that. But this piece up here of his costume is made of rubber. So it won't bend or break or anything, so that's very cool. So it doesn't appear the articulation or anything, so that's pretty cool. 
so you can see it does come up that far which is pretty cool doesn't go in or out or anything so that's kind of limited he does have a swivel at the top of the thigh and a single jointed knee which is pretty good comes out that far which is pretty decent but it's kind of stiff though and also does have a swivel up the top of the boot so that's pretty good articulation uh, but on this joint on the knee joint here you can see it's got this like little pattern and does continue into the knee joint when you bend the knee so that's very good I like that nice detail in the knee as well so that's very cool but there is a swivel up the top of the joint here but on my on this leg it's stiff and it can't move it so I might have to put that in some hot water there as well also this uh, uh, foot is kind of loose as well uh, very loose actually not major but I'm just saying it's kind of loose there and also this arm um, does swivel it is stuck at the wrist, so it can't swivel at the wrist, but it can swivel at the forearm, and but you can't bend the elbow, so the elbow is kind of stuck there. Uh, but if you try to bend it, the arm breaks off, unfortunately. Um, so I've done that a couple of times now, the arm has broken off. I mean, it hasn't really broken off, it's just popped out the ball joint. So, I mean, I'd just pop it back in there, it's not a big deal, so that's why I don't move this arm. I mean, it swivels, you can move it up and down, and in and out but you can't bend it out the elbow, so that's the only unfortunate thing. So the articulation on Deadshot is pretty pretty decent, not the best though, because um, some places are kind of loose, but then you can't get much articulation out of him, because it is DC collectibles, so you can't really expect much. Uh, but he does, he does have a pig hole on the bottom of his foot, but it doesn't include in the base, as I said. So the overall the articulation um, is pretty decent, not the best, as I just said, um, but the sculpt work and the paint detail is very, very nice. So let's do a quick size comparison here with Batman here. So as you can see, this is the Arkham Asylum Batman. And as you can see, he's pretty much the same size, um, although he's kind of crouched up, crouched down. So there you go, you can see Deathshot is pretty much the same size. Obviously, Batman is a bit taller. So there we go. Um, but Deathshot is kind of easy to stand up. Um, he, yeah, he is fairly easy. You do have to put his legs, his like, feet in a certain position, but he's not too hard to stand up. He's pretty, pretty good. So overall, I'll probably give this figure a four, four and a half out of five, maybe five, because this is just a very, very well detailed figure. As DC collectible figures are always very well detailed. Great paint job, great sculpt work. Looks very accurate to the character in the game. Although Deadshot was no, hardly in the game, really, it was only like really one mission. Um, but it's still really cool that DC collectibles actually made a figure of him. So that's really cool. But it would be nice if included like a sniper rifle or maybe two pistols or something. But still really cool. Really nice guns as well. Um, so overall, I would highly recommend getting this figure. It's a great figure to have in your Arkham City figure collection. And it just looks very, very awesome. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this review. Stay tuned for a review of Nightwing coming up very soon. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.